Then we started doing our research into juice and realized, well, if we want to be competitive and, and have the highest quality product, which was really important to us, we have to do cold pressed juice. And then we start looking into cold pressed juice. Now, what is cold pressed juice to the novice me in yes. the room? <laughs> what, is, what's, so, what does that mean? <laughs> Cold press juice is basically where the juice has never come in contact with heat. Heat is what compromises the quality and the integrity of the nutrients. So the vitamins and the minerals and the um, enzymes, if you have cold produce and it goes through, we temperature control the entire process. So the produce, the washing of it, it goes into a grinder. That's, it just, a, that's just another layer. Another though, layer. It's yeah. like to keep the produce cold. That's kind of our little secret, what we do. Okay. We're, we're um, crazy. Everybody knows it now, but yeah. Yeah, what we're, kind we're of heat really, are we talking about here? So the motor, the heat from a motor of a juicer. Oh, so you know how like okay. when your blender is going for a long time, yeah. it gets yeah. really hot? Sure. So imagine that okay. when you're juicing it and the heat is what, Kittles and you get the foam. The if you get juice on the yes, spot, you okay. get the foam on the top that's of like your glass. That's oxidization. And that's just from the, the high rotation speed. I've never podcast. known what that was from. I just so thought it much. was. Yeah. So you see that? That's a no-no. It just cuts the shelf life. You loss. have to drink that immediately. If you're going to. Okay. If it's nutrient loss. Okay. Gotcha. But if you, you can't take that. Is it because the heat now starts a process? Like it starts to process it? Like the heat basically cooks it? The heat just initially, you know how when you talk about pasteurization of like a Tropicana orange juice? Sure. sure. You're basically heating and you're nuking out yeah. all of the nutrients of the Got orange it. juice. So you end up with, you know, yes, it'll show vitamin C and stuff on there, but really it, once something goes through pasteurization, you're not so the slower the, the grading wow. process, and then what happens is, you know, lots of different technology, different systems that do it, but essentially it's a cheesecloth that you then have to Press. hold uh, presses that press it, and then the juice comes out the bottom. So you want it a slow grading process of the of the fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and as companies get larger, what they tend to do is to cut back on costs. They'll do all the kale, all the spinach, and they'll they'll fill by percentage. Yeah, it gets and so it's in. still technically okay. cold pressed, but what we have always done from the start of our business is we small batch. That's just also going back to, that's the only way we knew how to do it. 